Hello, how are you today? Yeah, I'm good. I'm great. How are you? Okay. What's your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is Mohammed Farooq and I'm from India right now. Oh, okay. Uh, you mean you're saying you're from India right now? Are you from India then? Uh, no, right now I have... Uh, that means I was born in India and right now I'm in Delhi. And, uh, ah, okay. Yes. Well, my name is Simon. I'm from England and right now I'm in Bali, Indonesia. So welcome to Cambly. Thank How you. can I help you today? Uh, well, I wanted to do practice. Free conversation or a lesson or reading? Uh, whatever you suggest. I'm just student for you. No, 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 no. The students in, in Cambly do give opinions. It's different, you know, because I get confused when a student says to me, you choose. And then if they don't like it, then they get upset and then they give bad ratings and bad stuff. So, I mean, whatever you feel like, if you want to have a free conversation, you can have a free conversation. We can talk about different things, economy. Uh, you you economy. can judge me. How, how do I speak? You you are just, let's suppose you are my mentor. And for okay, the 15 Let, let's uh, for have a free minutes. conversation. Yeah, free conversation. I'll tell you what. Fine. Yes. I'll give you a feedback at the end. I think your English level is pretty good, but let's see. <laughs> yeah, and I think a conversation will be good for you then. Yeah, basically I joined Cambly because I want to improve my English very well. And uh, uh, it's been almost 10 years. I've been working for the U.S. and Canadian customers. And uh, oh, wow. my business is already registered in uh, Georgia. And uh, I've been every day I have to talk with the foreigners. That means uh, they belong to U.S. and Canadian especially. So I yeah. want I wanted to improve my English. English is my second language, and uh, my all education, my bang background of the education, belong to the, my local language, not in English languages. So yeah, I was yeah, a, yeah. I was a kind of a passionate about improving my communication skills. Mm -hmm. I'm a kind of a lunatic when it comes for speaking English and talking to the people or doing conversation. And I uh, practice so much that right now I'm also a public speaker. Some somewhere I go. I speak some mm. about uh, topics and uh, especially I especially focus on my pronunciation because I notice people speak English from the, you know, even if you compare the children are speaking English. But for me, uh, I want to, you know, distinguish my English something next level. And yeah, uh, you're, you're speaking very well, by the way. Great, great thank you so much. Because and I think, yes, uh, sorry, how long have you been in Cambly? Uh, today is my fourth session. And has anybody told you we also have business English in Cambly? Uh, no, uh, I didn't know about it. I just joined the Cambly just because I want to have a partner whom I can talk, especially as a foreign language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we also have business English lessons as well. So you can have a look at them. Once this class. expires, so I will just consider to join that as well. Yeah, it's and up to you, of yes. course, you know, totally, free, totally fine. I mean, you're speaking very, 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 very good. Like, I think you are advanced level, to be honest with you. You're not intermediate, definitely not. As I said that, I'm a motivational speaker as well. I, I, I also very do, good. you know, I conduct some of the session because in my area right now in Delhi, uh, I have joined a one institute, uh, especially for English speaking and practicing. So mm. I want to continue my uh, practice. I want to con be consistent in it so that uh, especially I focus, you know, my pronunciation and phonetics and the rhythm of speaking, uh, you know, where we have to put the syllabus or where we have to put the commas in it. Yeah. You know what? See, this is why I said to you, you have to um let me know your opinion what you want to do because if i did a lesson with you or i did um i'm uh, reading with you you'd get bored because your level is too high yes so your, your your level is basically for discussions debates conversation i have this page and um, mm -hmm. there are a lot of topics in here okay um you can choose a topic in here try and see how you feel open it up and then i'll open and we and i will have a conversation about any topic you want from here no we will find we are doing a general conversation and because i have to go for my prayer right now today is friday so i'm oh I'm it's kind the of Juma press, yes. friday press yes <laughs> that's okay that's really really good like uh, um is 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 that the Friday prayers are still happening? You know, in Dubai they don't do the. In 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 Dubai they used to have Friday and sat, sat, Friday and Saturday are for holidays. Yes. And now because of the tourism, they are giving people Saturday and Sunday off, so they don't even care about the 
Friday press anymore. So where do you belong to? Which part of country? You are especially uh, the citizen of UK or you belong to, what's the origin of the country? I was born and brought up in UK. Okay. I'm a British Muslim. My mum and dad were born in Pakistan. Oh, okay. I just figured so, out something like uh, you should be uh, from Pakistan as well because most of the Pakistan people, they are in UK and England. Uh, so. Oh, how it works is like the parents come there, but the kids are original British people like me. Yes. But the parents get the citizenship. Like my mum came at the age of 19. Mm -hmm. She's now 60 something. My dad came during his 20s when they needed people from workers from India and Pakistan to come and work in UK. Okay. UK is built by Indians and Pakistanis, to be honest with you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Vera, have you been to England? No, I have so far. I have not been to any uh, English countries or oh, you should go. yes, and apart from the because I uh, I was planning to go somewhere like uh, Saudi Arabia and the second U.S. I applied for the visa for the U.S. My visa was rejected for some reason, and suddenly a pandemic hits and uh, we were locked down. You know, in the pandemic situation, mm -hmm. COVID nineteen issues, and so mm -hmm. uh, after that. Uh, I had no opportunity to go somewhere apart from India. So right now I'm ah. staying in India. Yes, maybe in future. Go. Yeah, maybe in future if I plan, I should go first in Saudi Arabia to do some Umrah yeah, with my wife. And uh, this is my first plan. And then after, if I get a chance, opportunity to go to the US for the business purpose. So uh, this is my two countries, which I already you know plan in my mind that I should be visiting on these two countries. Mm -hmm so that I could get some experiences. And I'm also, before going to Saudi Arabia, I have a thought to come and learn uh, the Arabic language because uh, I'm a oh, fond hard. of, I'm a fond of, you know, reading and reciting Quran. I used to do that every day, but, you know, due, due to some uh, job and, you know, corporate sectors, everything is left. So I want to continue this uh, reading and reciting Quran. I, uh, I memorized the oh. Surah Yasin, Surah Rahman. These two oh, surahs, I have memorized so many surahs and duas which I recite every day. So this is uh, before going to Saudi Arabia, I thought, you know, I should learn uh, Arabic language because this is uh, a book of God and I should understand what God says in the Quran. The Tajaweed, so that, the tajaweed is important. Yes. So uh, this was my, uh, what to say, uh, my plan. And let's see if, if you have a good plan and you know it's pure of course it will come true yes inshallah yeah tajaweed is hard my brother learned it okay and he used to see like you know like the old ladies they read the quran so fast and he used to say to them he used to say what are you reading this is not the way to read the quran you're supposed to read it slowly with slowly, the tajaweed yes. and stuff. right yeah i think like a lot of people don't understand that are you half this no not half is would you like I, to be one uh i spent my five years in uh, you know studying in madrasa and that's what i told in beginning that uh, the education i have received and attained in my life was not attached to attended. english attended. Attended, attended yes attached yeah. i said attached my education uh, which i attended in my life mm -hmm. was not related to uh, english conversation or english books so I said that my English was my secondary language and I started learning just before 10 years ago. That means before 10 years, I did not have mm -hmm. a skill of speaking. Even I used wow. to, my education belonged to the UP board. UP board, that means all the, uh, the books and information should be in related to the Hindi languages, okay? Not mm -hmm. in English language. So I spent in government college and you, un you can understand how the level of the government colleges are right now because mm -hmm. the education system right now in government especially in india are not quite well that we should be educated very much but mm -hmm. i spent uh, my whole life uh, up to the 12th standard i spent in government and uh, five years i spent in uh, madrasa so mm -hmm. after 12, uh, 12 i decided to you know do some kind of higher studies and i took admission in bca and uh, yes. when I decided that everything is, all the courses, all the subjects are in English, I decided that I should be learning English languages and that's where my journey started. And uh, here yeah. I am right now. You know, I'm going to give you advice. Start buying English novels and read them. You know, in England, 
people, the native people, read novels, English novels. It increases your vocabulary. Ah, <laughs> ah okay. This is <laughs> this book has changed my perception. You can yeah. win, and this book is. But the is, writer is an Indian guy. Get an Indian English one. 100%. Yes, and uh, he is. Uh, I read every day, and I get some of the information. But what is it about? This is about all your success and failures. It's all about motivational quotes and stories which inspires you how to become successful and how mm -hmm. to succeed in your life, how to face challenges, barriers, impediments in your life, how to overcome your anger, how to make friendships, how to build your confidence. Oh, I should read that. <laughs> how to, how to uh, maintain your self-esteem, how to avoid negative people. These all yes. are written in this book, and this book is uh, genuinely... Uh, it's a great book and I read every day, but I have a one consideration that I, this is my first book in entire life that I read. What my consideration is to read the same. I'm reading, I'm reading. Yes, I'm reading right now and I have mm. read. So far I have completed once. So I will start uh, once again. I read, I read then if it's past tense. Okay, I read, yes. Sorry, yeah, a little bit it's mistakes. Okay. Don't worry, just a little bit mistakes are normal, isn't it? It's, it's not like major. Yes. But your level is still advanced, I would say. That's, I mean, I definitely, I think you're going to go far in life, but novels are different. Novels are from the British or American novels are going to help you with the vocabulary, understanding more, and increase your level of uh, and the English knowledge. Because even who... People who study at Oxford University read novels to increase their... Um, See, I'm a kind of a religious it. person and uh, I prefer the book uh, religiously rather than the book written by uh, the human being. Because the yes, book, I understand. The time which I spend on those kind of books reading to understand what their life and biography related to, I prefer reading the Quran in English translation to understand what is the life about after the death because i i believe i i have a firmly i firmly believe and i have a great faith in my religion and what happens after that i have understood some of the levels of the islamic teachings and uh, this is my perception that whenever i have to study i have to study those books which is related to my uh, religion because mm -hmm. i'm a kind of religious person and i want to explore uh, Islam more and more and uh, you know the people uh, to my age when I talk to them I especially give some kind of uh, uh, religious teachings to them about that Sunnah. That's good. Yeah. So I don't want to read the human beings biographies <laughs> and all this. I, I would... know that because I love to read the the Sunnah book, the Hadith which was uh, yeah, given yeah, by yeah. our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam peace be upon him. So Mashallah, I read so all those and I have joined the Facebook groups and every day I, I, I see, I read the Sunnah that what we have to do, what we to avoid, you know, these are all the things I learn and this helps me a lot. It also relates me to my religion. Yeah, Muhammad, I, 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 class time is nearly coming to an, I really want to talk to you about this, you know, the, the, the life after death and what happens in the, in the grave and everything, yes, you know, I, know about I think it will be. Oh my God, why do not we talk about that? I really want to talk like somebody who has knowledge. Yeah, if you can come again, like tomorrow or something, maybe we can discuss it. Yeah, this is time. my time. I This is my time uh, to go online on Camply. So I'm going to, uh, you know, like uh, do favorites on your name so that I could talk tomorrow. Yeah, well. I think it will be amazing conversation and it also will help you improve as well. My name is Simon Bashir. You can find me under the teacher's profile. Mm -hmm. I would love to talk to you about this because you know what? I'm in kind of a bit of a mess right now mm -hmm. when it comes to religion and stuff like, you know, what's going on. And I think it would be really, and obviously it's going to be in a conversation in English. Of course, and yes. it's going to help you and it's going to be interesting. Okay, we are uh, running out of time. So I will just do uh, like your profile and I will definitely contact you once again if you are online. Okay. This is my yeah, time no to worries. go Let online. Tomorrow, okay. Anyway. So what was my level of English? Uh, Advanced. Advanced, okay. Advanced, uh, you know, it's really, really, your your vocabulary is at a high level, you know, I have heard you. So, advanced level. See you next time, Farouk. Right, have a thank great you, day. Thank Happy you. Friday and enjoy your Friday break. Thank you.